Hello friends, welcome to another lecture in our preparation series of Gate Computer Science, UGC Net Computer Science and Bank IT Officer exam. In today's lecture, we'll study database management and we'll start with two questions which appeared in Gate 2015 paper. So the first question is based on select and project operators that is that are present in relational algebra. So and select operator of SQL. So starting with the first question, select operation in SQL is equivalent to and the options are the selection operation in relational algebra, the selection operation in relational algebra except that the select in SQL retains duplicates. The third is the op projection operation in relational algebra and the last option is the projection operation in relational algebra except that the select in SQL retains duplicates. Okay, so uh, when comparing SQL select and project operation of the relational algebra, then what do we actually find that the select operation in SQL is actually equivalent to the projection operator, the projection operator or the project operator in relational algebra but there is a significant difference between the two the difference is that the projection operator of relational algebra does not retain duplicates and the select operator in SQL retains duplicates that means so uh, the duplicates if they are present in the result and we have used projection operation then those duplicates or multiple values that have the same uh, actual value multiple rows that have the same value all those rows will not be present in the final result rather only a single row representing all those rows would be present okay but the select operator in sql does not read it retains duplicates and it does not eliminate multiple occurrences okay so if i give you an example and i have a column i have a relation named student and i have four columns in them or uh, let's make the table easier and let's maintain two columns and multiple rows so this is roll number and this is name okay so there are four roll numbers one two three and four and let's say we have x y y and z all right so if i apply select operator here select name and this is the student relation from student okay so the select operator will give me a result which is equivalent to name x y y and z all right so these two values or these two rows which have the same value of y will be retained so the result will contain a total of four rows but if i use the project operator the project operator will return the result as the name of the column would be name and the rows that would be result would be x y and z so the project operator would remove one out of them and would simply put a single row corresponding to y so this is the result of project okay and this is the result of select so the correct option for this question would be the projection operation in relational algebra except that select in sql retains duplicates so d is the option now in this question i would also like to suggest students that please don't stop at option c and tick mark the correct tick mark uh, or choose this option as the correct option before reading the next options generally students do this in in the uh, paper and to save time the first option that they find suitable they 
put it as the correct answer they mark it as the correct answer and proceed to the next question please read all the options in each of your questions because as you saw in this question the c and d options partially they are same but actually the correct option is d because d is more detailed version of this detailed answer of this question and that is more correct the c option only states that select operation in sql is exactly same as the projection operation in relational algebra but actually it is not true the difference has to be stated and it is stated in option d now coming to the next question the next question is consider the following transaction involving two bank accounts x and y and the transaction is read x x equal to x minus 50 then write x then read y y equal to y plus 50 and write y the constraint that the sum of the accounts x and y should remain constant is that of atomicity consistency isolation or durability okay so if we are given a constraint and the constraint is that the sum of these two values x and y should remain constant so what does it actually means that before this transaction happens and after this transaction happens no more no matter what uh, changes were made by these transaction the final value of the sum of x and y should always remain constant and this consistency should be maintained that means there is no exception to the rule that uh, the values of x and y can be changed in a manner which does not make their sum constant or what should i say that consistency is the correct answer here and why is it so because the uh, ref the rule of consistency actually refers to the fact that any database transaction must always change the variables in such a way that is allowed by the database okay the values of x and y can only be changed in a manner so that this constraint remains valid even after the transaction has been completed so the correct answer is consistency and i will write to a short definition of consistency for you that i just explained this rule uh, the, or this fact refers to the requirement or it states the requirement that any database transaction must change the variables or must affect the contents of the database only in allowable manner only in allowable manner and retaining all the constraints that that were held before the execution of the transaction okay only in allowable manner also retaining the constraints present before the execution of the transaction okay so what does it means it only means that you can change the value of the database variables in a consistent manner and consistent manner actually means that if there are certain constraints imposed on certain variables and values you should maintain those constraint no matter what you do within a transaction so uh, that is the answer of both these questions Thank you for watching the video. I hope you understood both these questions. If you have any doubts, you can mention in the comment section below. Please subscribe to the channel of Easy Engineering Classes for more such 
lectures on our preparation series as well as other computer science related subjects press the bell icon to get the notifications of our upcoming videos so that you always stay updated and don't miss a video thanks for watching good luck stay tuned